welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Master Auto Information. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to follow the channel. Thanks for watching the videos. Today, we're diving into the 2025 ATR-42 original aircraft that's been making waves in the aviation industry for its combination of reliability, efficiency, and next generation upgrades. The ATR-42 may not be the flashiest aircraft in the sky, but when it comes to practical, efficient, and sustainable air travel over short distances, this turboprop delivers in ways that jets simply can't. Let's get into the full story behind the 2025 model, what makes it special, and why it continues to be a go-to aircraft for regional carriers around the world. The ATR-42 is a twin turboprop regional aircraft developed by the French-Italian manufacturer ATR, which stands for Aero Idea Trasporto Regionale in Italian and Avians de Transportare Tilde Copyright Giannel in French. It's the smaller sibling of the ATR-72 and was originally launched back in the early 1980s. The 2025 version represents the latest evolution of the ATR-42 family a more advanced, more comfortable, and more efficient than ever before. One of the biggest selling points of the ATR-42 has always been its performance on short runways. This aircraft is perfectly designed for airports that larger jets simply can't access. We're talking about high-altitude airports, remote island runways, and short gravel strips a places where infrastructure may be limited but reliable air service is still crucial. The 2025 ATR-42 continues this tradition with improved takeoff and landing performance, making it ideal for regional connections in mountainous regions, tropical islands, and underserved rural zones. Now let's talk about the technical details. The 2025 ATR-42 is powered by the Pratt Whitney Canada PW127 XTM engines a new generation turboprop engine that significantly improves fuel efficiency while lowering maintenance costs. These engines are specifically tuned for the ATR family and are part of what gives the aircraft its reputation for economy. With 20% lower maintenance costs compared to previous models and 3% improvement in fuel burn, this engine is a real game changer in regional aviation. The aircraft has a typical seating capacity of around 48 passengers, making it ideal for small regional routes. That capacity is strategically important because it strikes a balance say big enough to be profitable but small enough to allow multiple daily frequencies between two destinations. This is something passengers really value, especially business travelers and locals relying on frequent and flexible flight schedules. In terms of range, the 2025 ATR-42 can cover up to 800 nautical miles, or roughly 920 miles. That means routes like New York to Detroit, Los Angeles to Reno or Miami to the Bahamas are easily within reach. And for airlines operating in island chains like the Caribbean or the Philippines, this aircraft can connect remote islands quickly and cost-effectively. Inside the cabin, passengers will notice a major difference compared to older regional turboprops. The ATR-42-600 cabin A now updated for 2025A is outfitted with the Armonio interior, a modern, quiet, and comfortable environment featuring larger overhead bins, mood lighting, and more ergonomic seats. The aircraft might be compact, but it doesn't feel cramped. There's more legroom than you'd expect, and noise levels have been brought down significantly thanks to better insulation and propeller technology. ATR has also been pushing hard into sustainability and the 2025 ATR-42 is a big step in that direction. First, there's the already high fuel efficiency of turboprops compared to jets. On short-haul flights under 500 miles, turboprops can burn up to 40% less fuel than jets, and the ATR-42 is among the most efficient of them all. Second, 
ATIA has been working on compatibility with Sustainable Aviation Fuel A or SAF. The 2025 model is certified to operate with up to 50% SAF blend and is on track for 100% SAF capability in the near future. This matters more than ever in an age when both governments and passengers are paying attention to carbon emissions. Airlines that operate the ATR-42 can lower their per passenger emissions significantly compared to jets which is a huge advantage in markets where environmental regulations are tightening. Now, let's talk a little about avionics and technology. The 2025 ATR-42 is equipped with a fully digital cockpit featuring the latest avionics suite from Thales. Pilots now have five large LCD screens, a fully integrated electronic flight bag, an improved weather radar. These upgrades not only make the aircraft safer and easier to operate, but they also reduce pilot workload and training time. The systems are intuitive, and for airlines, they help reduce operational errors and improve on-time performance. What's also interesting is the aircraft's adaptability. It can be configured for passengers, cargo, or even a mix of both in a commie version. There's also a still version A short takeoff and landing A called the ATR42600S. This variant is specifically engineered to operate from runways as short as 2625 feet. That opens up even more airports that are inaccessible to most other commercial aircraft. This is a huge advantage in places like Alaska, Nepal or the Scottish Isles where airfields are small and terrain is challenging. From a maintenance perspective, the 2025 ATR-42 continues to be a favorite among airlines for its reliability and low cost of ownership. The new PW-127 XT engines require fewer inspections and allow for longer intervals between overhauls. Plus, ATR has expanded its global support network making it easier than ever for airlines to get spare parts and technical assistance no matter where they operate. Let's also not forget that the ATR-42 is a leader in operational reliability. It boasts a dispatch reliability rate of over 99%, which is one of the highest in its class. That means more flights take off on time, fewer delays and more happy passengers a something every airline and passenger values. There are already a number of airlines placing new orders for the 2025 model, especially in regions like Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. These are places where infrastructure challenges and cost sensitivity make the ATR-42 the perfect aircraft. Airlines like Silver Airways in the US, PNG Air in Papua New Guinea, and Binta in the Canary Islands all rely heavily on ATR aircraft, and many are expected to upgrade to the 2025 model as it rolls out. In a world dominated by jetliners, the ATR-42 reminds us that not every flight needs to be at 35,000 feet and 500 miles per hour. Sometimes, what really matters is getting people where they need to go a safely, comfortably, and efficiently. The 2025 ATR-42 delivers on all those fronts. It may not be the flashiest plane out there, but it is a workhorse how dependable, environmentally friendly, and cost-effective solution that airlines trust and passengers appreciate. So whether you're taking off from a gravel runway in Alaska or connecting between island chains in the Pacific, the ATR-42 is likely part of that journey. It's a reminder that innovation in aviation isn't always about going higher or faster. A sometimes it's about doing more with less, reaching the places others can't, and doing it all with a lighter footprint. As we move deeper into the 2020s, regional aviation will continue to play a critical role in connecting smaller communities, supporting tourism, and driving economic development. Aircraft like the ATR-42 will be right at the center of that effort a upgraded, refined, and ready for the future. Thanks for sticking with us today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Master Auto Information. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We've got a lot more exciting aviation and vehicle content coming your way. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.